Yo, what's going on guys? Sean here. Welcome back to another episode of Blitz Battle Games. So, today I guess we're just gonna talk about... I don't know, the state of the game. A million people have talked about this a million different times already, but you know what? I'm gonna talk about it anyway, because I feel like it. Um... Hold on, I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> okay. So, the first thing I wanna mention is, for anyone that doesn't know, I like took a like month and a half break. Like I pretty much played no blitz for like 45 days or something like that. Oh, I suck. Like I, I think I got like nine wins in 45 days, which is pretty much just not playing the game, right? Um, and the reason I did that was because, well, it's a mixture of things. A main driving factor was because the game was just so horrible. Like. There was one queue at a time, and you'd always have someone just cheating insanely hard in it. And it, it was not fun. Like, you would just have to basically hope that you could kill the person cheating <clears throat> in that queue to win the game. Uh, by the way guys, sorry if I'm like, if I sound sick or if I cough or cut randomly in the middle of commentary. I have COVID right now, so... Yeah, I am sick. But yeah, it was just really unplayable to the point where I didn't want to play. So I didn't for like 40 days. I just didn't play Blitz. Um, it was that plus the fact that other games were just more fun. Joni and I played through almost all of Terraria together. I played a ton of Apex Legends. Like 200 hours of Apex in like a month or something. Oh, this guy's cheating, maybe? I don't know, I couldn't tell. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it was just a mixture of this, the cues in this game just being awful and other games being more fun, and so I didn't play. But recently, like about a week ago, I came back and I've been playing a lot. Uh, if anyone's looked at weeklies this week, you would know I've been playing a lot. Um, but I'll talk about that in the next video that I'm going to record a couple days from now. Talk about that more. Uh, and what I've not- I can't tell if these people are b-hopping or if they're just so laggy. I literally can't tell. Anyway, what I've noticed in my time back is that while there's like the number of cheaters hasn't necessarily gone down, but the ratio has, like the ratio of cheaters per game has gone down. And that's because there's more people playing. Yeah, there's not just one queue at a time anymore. Oh, uh, this is an issue though. Oh man, acid rain. It's actually so annoying. So I have to sit here for the next 30 seconds. Anyway, yeah. Um. There's more cues. You can, if there's a bee hopper playing or whatever, or like a really, or like closet cheating team or whatever that you don't want to fight, you can just go to the next queue, and uh, that's that's very nice. I quite like that. That's what it should be, and I'm pretty sure that the reason you know there's randomly more people. And, well, it's not really random. It's because it's summer break for most people. I mean, pretty much everyone. It's summer break, and so people are playing Minecraft, which is nice, you know. Hopefully it lasts longer than just summer break, but who knows? Once it's over, I might go back to just one Q and it's horrible. Uh, I am hoping that I can hit 200k before that happens, if that does happen, because I really don't want that. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, nice. The other thing I can talk about is I recently, I miss, huh? I recently met up. That's what I was trying to say. I recently met up with uh, some people. Basically, I met up with One Way Track, Shibuya, and its social, uh, the Chinese puppet, which he doesn't play Blitz, and yeah, no one's gonna know who that is, and then Data. And we basically flew, I mean, I live in Florida, and we flew all the way across the country to the West Coast to meet them. It was sick, it was awesome meeting those guys. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. I was there for like a week. We just hung out, you know? Messed around. It was a good time. Huh. 
Ooh, ah! If I make noises, I win Minecraft fight. Oh, there's a person behind me. There's no way this guy doesn't die. Are you kidding? We win those. We win those. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about this video. I didn't have anything to talk about specifically. I was just like, eh, I feel like recording a Minecraft video, so I'm going to do it. Um, I guess I could talk about things that like really annoy me about Blitz, since I'm talking about the state of the game and everything, and while the people playing it are obviously like the most important thing, because if just if it's just horrible with cheaters playing all day long every day like you can't play there are like obviously other things like about the game itself um obviously i mean you know the update came out what eight months ago or something like that and there just hasn't been a balance patch milkman's horrible shark doesn't work paladin dominates you know we all know about all that stuff i don't feel like talking about that here's what i do want to talk about if I type slash MP, I have 20,608 teams wins and only 8,793 overall wins. The total wins leaderboard doesn't work. It just doesn't. It's so frustrating. And, like, I don't understand how hard it is to just make some numbers appear on the right hologram. Or the right numbers appear on the right hologram. Like, how hard can it be? It's just values. Obviously, I don't know anything about coding, but how hard could that be? Come on, you do it for every other game on the server. Why can't you do it for this one? I hate Paladin. People still spawn outside their cages for no reason. I don't know how that started happening, but that, that still happens. Uh, what else? Oh, this is just something they did server-wide, which is like, it just seems to me like anyone with a brain wouldn't make this decision, but for whatever reason, when you go to look at the leader, <coughs> when you go to look at the leaderboards now, you see weekly first and not lifetime. Th like what? Why? why that i don't i don't understand like anyone who actually plays the game knows that that's just so stupid and just not how it should be at all but you know what high pixel admins doing their thing i guess they're so out of touch with the community like it's just genuinely painful Like, I, I just don't comprehend how you can think that displaying the people who have hacked for a week and, like, th those are the people whose names should be on the leaderboards when you first warp into the lobby, not the people who have spent thousands of hours, you know, dedicating themselves to the game. Nah, it, it should be the people who just have been hacking the most this week. It's actually just ridiculous, and it's like that, at first I thought it was a bug, and then I went to every other ser game on the server, and it's like that literally everywhere on the server, so I know it's not a bug, that's just, it was an intentional decision. Somehow made by a team of people that had to agree on it, and I, I just, yeah. Uh, there's also a bug where sometimes, like, a DM will just have, like, a chunk that doesn't load. That's been a thing for a long time. And it just still is, somehow? I don't I don't know what's up with that, but I lost a game to it the other day because I spawned inside it. We'll do one more game, I guess. Like, why? Why is weekly first? Why do I have to scroll to lifetime? And why am I not on here, you know? Like, I, 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 I definitely think I have more wins than almost everybody on here. I'm actually third. Third for wins in the entire game. Not 48. So, I guess the final thing to talk about in this video is, um... 200k i'm very close to it as you can see but it's gonna be a bit before i actually get it 
And the reason for that is that I'm waiting for Joni to hit 100k at the same time that I hit 200k. And he's at 93k right now, so I need 3k more kills, but he needs 7k more, so... I'm basically just going to be feeding him as many kills as I can in teams. And that's what I've been doing for a, uh, a not a really long time, but a couple months now. Um, it's just that I play more than him, so I, like I've been playing solo, and I've played a lot of teams without him the other day, and yeah. So because I play more than him, it's like he hasn't been able to catch up, really. So I'm going to have to really like slow down on just getting kills, and just give them all to him. Which, you can see if you check like my guardian ratios, oh my gosh, I just had like a horrible like coughing fit. <laughs> For like 30 seconds or something that was not fun um anyway yeah, my guardian ratios if you look i have 1300 wins with guardian and i just got 5,000 kills that's ridiculous that's like not even four kills a win or something like that's insane that just never yeah like that's so so bad and my, I'm playing scout right now, and my scout ratios are pretty similar. It's not, They're not as bad because I played scout before I was feeding him kills a little bit before the update. But they're still pretty dang, like, bad. I mean, it's also scout, so, you know, you don't get kills with it in the first place, but... But, yeah, basically I'm gonna have to slow down kills even more which is just it's painful but it's worth it because i want to hit 100k or i mean 200k at the same time he hits 100k it would be awesome to do that Let's go ahead and win this game and I can end the video off. Whoa, guys. doing a lot of damage to me. <laughs> My kit gives zero diamond armor, by the way. Alright, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. I don't know, I'm recording another video in like two days or something, probably. Bye.